I use all three equations. I'm going to start by trying to eliminate one of the variables. We're going to pick z because it looks like that's going to be the easiest to eliminate, but you could you know, start with eliminating y's or x's. But let's go ahead and eliminate uh, the z's first, and we'll do that by combining the first and the second equation. If we add those together, we get 3x minus y, the z's are going to cancel, equals 1. Okay. Now we want to use all three equations. We use, use the first two. We want to use the, the third one. So let's go ahead and combine it with the second one. You can combine it with the first or the second, but you want to use that third equation. So we use all three. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply this middle equation times 2. So that's going to give us 4x minus 6y plus 2z equals negative 2. The third equation I'm just going to bring down. And we're going to add these two together. So if we do that, we get 9x minus 7y equals negative 5. Okay, now we're down to two equations with two variables, just x's and y's. So let's multiply this equation by negative 7 so we get a positive 7y. We can add it to this equation and eliminate the y's. So if we do that, we get 21x, okay, negative 21x plus 7y equals negative 7. And we're going to add those together. We get negative 12x. The y's cancel. We get negative 12. Divide by negative 12, x equals 1. So we went from three equations with three variables down to two equations with two variables down to one equation with one variable. Now we're going to work our way backwards. Okay, so we're going to put this into one of the equations that has just two variables. Let's put it into this one over here. So 3 times 1 minus y equals 1. We put in 1 for x. So we subtract 3 from both sides. That gives you negative 2. Divide by negative 1, y equals 2. So now we know what x and y are. Let's go ahead and put it back into one of the original equations to solve for z. So we'll just do this top one. So we have 1 plus y is 2, so 2 times 2 is 4, minus z equals 2. That's 5 minus z equals 2. Subtract 5, that equals negative 3. Divide by negative 1, z equals 3. So now we have x, y, and z, and we're going to write this as a triple. x, y, z, alphabetical order. 1, 2, 3. x, y, z. Okay, so you just write it as a triple.